All right, so this is basically the drill. We're going to show people that we do know what the fuck we're talking about. So the first question is, state your fake name and your fake profession. And you can do whatever the hell you want it to be. You'll state her name. Not her real name, but some name with the same first letter. Um, what it is that you did, your story of how it came what to end. What you did? Yeah, what you did. Because it's obviously, it's always our fault. I thought we were going to do how we did her. No. Ooch. Next is, um, how did that make you feel when she left? Next question is, do you really love her? And the last question is, what's next? This is the Heartbreak Comedy Club. State my name and profession. My name is Marcus Hawthorne. I am a writer and a filmmaker. I make amateur films. Um, uh, state your name. My name is Gregory Kennedy. In my profession, my name is Ramsey Nash. But you can call me Nemo because to her, to her, I am no one. Um, and yeah. Profession. Sober. What was her name? What was her name? Alright, her name was Sally. Well, I can name off a few names for her, but uh, we'll just we'll just call it Bambi. She too is a writer. Um, she's better than I am, though, uh, by far. When it comes to writing, of course. Um, <laughs> name was Clara. She doesn't know what she's talking about half the time, so definitely don't listen to her. All right, we were friends. Um, we became friends and uh, through Facebook. So of all the negative things about Facebook, we actually became friends through Facebook. So that's actually one of those easy conveniences. Uh, the story, well, the story is she's a bitch. The story. Well, the story started back in high school freshman year, you know, you come into high school and you think you're never going to find someone because it's right out of middle school and everybody you've ever liked is moving on to probably bigger and better things than yourself, so you always have that kind of lonely, depressed feeling on you, but, but uh, what it kind of came about is, uh, you know, that whole Romeo, Juliet, you know, Stella, Step, well, different thing, but... We became friends, and uh, there was like lots of stuff that was going on in my life, and she kind of came in and she just sort of became a person that I could really rely on. And, uh, you know, she actually started getting a boyfriend at the time, uh, and I was kind of with her through that and stuff, and um, I think it's telling like it's a cancer. All right. <laughs> uh, Basically, basically, is that I came to know her when I was younger. We kind of were growing old together. You always, seems that in high school, there's always that one person that you can find that makes you feel like different and better about yourself because there are so many more people out there than what you were up with at that point. Basically, we just became really good friends and one day I had a great idea to ask her out, so I did. She became my girlfriend. I dated for about 10 months. Um, um, I met her in freshman year. I actually originally was dating with one of her best friends, but it didn't end up working out because I started to get feelings for her. So, our relationship started on Facebook when she was asking me how I was doing with her friend. 
which will remain unnamed. And I didn't really know how to answer that because I never had someone actually come up and talk to me and ask me how I was feeling. But after that point, our relationship just kind of escalated into something that seemed better, but in the end didn't work out so well. And then she ripped my heart out, like, the fucking heartbeat she is, so... Yeah. I started becoming way too clean, I think. Um, way too broad with the idea that I'd probably be with her after high school, and I'd probably marry her and stuff. And that idea just became such a good reality that when we finally broke up, it was really tough. And, um, and basically what happened is I screwed up, actually. Girls are always saying that it's always the guy's fault, and to be honest, it most of the time is. I mean, I know a lot of girls that make mistakes too, but none that really impact the rest of us like guys. So, basically, large, large quantities of mistakes were made over the summer after the freshman year, and that was just the end of it. But yeah, we um, we don't really talk very much anymore. I wish we did, but I guess things happen for a reason. How did that make me feel? How did that make me feel? All right, how that made me feel? Um, I wanted to kill myself. Well, you know, it's it's lonely, like. You start out loving some, or I guess thinking you love somebody, and you really start to believe it, but then when you look at it post-dating status, it's terrible. I felt like beating someone with a bat. What kind of fucking question is that? It, how it really made me feel was it, it made me feel betrayed, it made me feel, um, you know, it's actually something that you really can't describe. It's one of those feelings that it's just something that you can't do. So instead I decided to make a movie about it. So yeah. You're lonely. You feel like no one understands. You, you don't want to do anything, see anybody. You want to be alone and kind of crowd yourself in like darkness, hide away. I think I did love her. If I still love her, I don't think so. I think I found more things to not love about her than things to love about her, which is one of those things I never thought possible, but it happens. So what's next? Um, God, I don't really know. Uh, it's one of those things that you can't really walk away from because she just had this great impact on my life. What's next? <sighs> I guess her sister. I don't know, it's not really for me to say. I guess whatever happens, happens. So what's next? Um, God, I don't really know. Uh, it's one of those things that you can't really walk away from because she just had this great impact on my life. 
And it's one of those things I sometimes feel like she doesn't really understand. Um, you know, there's, there was a huge part of me that wanted to just go back in time and stop us from meeting, or stop us from being friends, or stop us from breaking, breaking up, or stopping me from doing something stupid. And uh, I really want to do that really badly. I just wanted a time machine, but it wasn't, it was never for my benefit. I never want to do it because I was hurting. It was because I was, I, I kept thinking about how much it was hurting her, and that hurt me. So there was a huge part of me after we broke up and after we just kept getting into these fights that I just wanted to go back in time and stop us from meeting for her benefit. But I think now there's just this point where I just want to go back in time just to watch it all over again. <laughs>